uh, obviously in in, uh, in most leagues, and this league is no different. You know, you want to fight and scratch and claw and battle, and you know, I've said this publicly and privately. You know that one of the things about this group is, you know, sometimes we we uh, you know we, we we become two two different teams, and that what we did for the better part of 45 minutes a day was compete our tails off and give ourselves a chance to win. And there are other times where we, where we you know, get caught up in, in certain things that we don't. Uh, when you play teams of this caliber, uh, you know, you, you have no choice in this league. Uh, it's a very unforgiving league with talented and experienced players that you've got you to bring it. And we talked about that yesterday. We talked about that today is you've got you to gotta bring energy and you've got to bring you know, your intent and what you're trying to do and to be able to execute it. And so you know, I thought we did that. You know, we came up a few plays short. You know, I'd like to have a couple of those back uh, on, on both ends, offensive and defense. But I thought, you know, two guys here played with great resilience. Um, you know, Billy got real aggressive, you know, as the game grew on. And, and uh, you know, that layup in that one we've seen from him a number of times. And, you know, Eli, uh, I think, has, has regained uh, himself in, in, in understanding his level of, of talent and confidence and you know started in the second half of the St. John's game and it's continued today and so you know those things we got to build on uh you know for for uh for our next game and throughout the rest of the season you know off and on you know we've seen enough to to know that we've got to be in attack mode and uh you know they went to it and what teams do sometimes and is is stagnate themselves and I thought the first couple of times we were aggressive uh, as they came back to it we got a little stagnant and uh, they made an adjustment or two in what we were running. And, and uh, you know, it, 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 for the most part, it, it kept us out of the paint more than when they were in man. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we, we just, obviously, we, we, our execution's got to get better in anything that, that we see defensively. And uh, I thought, you know, we did a decent job. But we went through a stretch. We were stuck on, I believe it was 57. And that's when they were in their zone. And I thought, you know, we started just playing back on our heels a little bit mentally and uh and, and as a result weren't making baskets or plays the way we had been just the kind of energy that that any defensive team has to have uh i thought our energy uh was was there to a higher percentage than in some other cases and and i thought we you know we we presented a front where we guarded the ball a little bit tougher today and we were in our gaps a little bit more today uh, and uh uh, it allowed us to play against you know more jump shots than anything else, um, and I thought that we did a, we did a decent job. And, and, and they're a very good offensive team, and they run good stuff. Uh, and for the most part, I thought we did a good job of preparing ourselves and then executing. You know, obviously, I'd like to have late game a couple of those uh, rebounds that we didn't get back, but you know, we we put ourselves in a position to uh, to to be successful, and and uh, you know, sometimes that's what you got to do in order to win. Uh, you know, it, it, if if anybody's been with us, you know, throughout the course of the season and in you know, non-league and in games, we we've had, you know, halves and games where we've been really tight and really efficient, and teams have been off balance and therefore didn't shoot the ball really well. And then we've been, you know, the other side of the, the spectrum where we've given up easy baskets and provided confidence, and all of a sudden shots go down all over the place from behind the arc and around the rim. Uh, so, you know, what we've tried to, to, to talk about as a, as a group is, is, you know, being more consistent in that and, and understanding that it's there. There's something about this group that is, that is really good and, and uh, f making sure that we understand that, we cherish it, and then we do it in time. And that's what good teams, that's what Butler does is that, you know, uh, they don't necessarily always overwhelm you, but they're really good offensively because they do what they do every day. And there's no psychological, to me anyway, as an outsider, uh, or, or physical variance. And the same thing defensively. You know, they, they, they play really good team defense. There's some holes that you try to exploit, but they do what they do, and, and, and therefore they don't lose. You have to beat them.